Hi, this is What You Waiting For, A Woman's Perspective on Camping and Survival. And I was uh, out today and we were trying to uh, get all our things organized for Halloween. We really are into Halloween, you know, we always decorate outside. And uh, it's, you know, expected here in the neighborhood that every year we add a little bit more to our display. Uh, well, it got me thinking about Christmas lights. So Christmas lights are something that usually only come just for a few months during the year. Uh, after Christmas is done, they're dirt cheap because they don't want to stock them. And you can pick them up really, really cheap. Uh, but what are Christmas lights good for? Especially the LED. The regular, the regular um, use a little bit more electricity, but the LED doesn't use as much electricity. So we buy them a lot of them in bulk. We just buy as many as we can, especially the clear. And we use them for the, the rest of the year. We use them when we go camping. Uh, if we have electricity there at our campsite, if we go, especially like Girl Scout camping, we'll usually have a shelter or a tent place where we can have electricity. We put them around so that everybody can find our campsite so that uh, other people walking by, we usually string them you know, where people can see if our tent stakes are out, they won't trip over them. Um, we can use them at Halloween because uh, they also have orange and black, but the clear is really, really cheap. And uh, we use them for decorating and, and making our thing a little bit more spooky. Of course, we use them at Christmas. Uh, but we also use them during the year just for a little extra light. Um, we just bought some solar panels for our land. We haven't set them up yet because we have not finished building our little shed. Uh, but it's going to be our lighting in our shed, these LED lights that are going to be attached to our solar panels. And they use a lot less electricity. <clears throat> so I think that'll be great. Uh, but uh, another thing that's only, I mean, it's out most of the year, but you can find it really dirt cheap right after Halloween is usually glow sticks. And they usually have the glow sticks, you know, that the kids can get. You know, uh, even the necklaces, the bracelets, or the plain glow sticks. And you can always use that in your bug out bag. <clears throat> we actually use the necklaces and things like that and tie them to our tent uh, when we're camping. But usually they're really cheap. Um, I, we go to the dollar store. In fact, I went to the dollar store today uh, where everything's a dollar. And I um, bought a bag and it had two glow sticks, real glow sticks in it, and another bag that had about 12 uh, little bracelets in it. <clears throat> so it's just a neat thing that you can pick up and they're after Halloween, if they have them around, they're usually really, really cheap. So just some ideas of some Halloween, uh, Christmas, holiday type of things that you can usually find a lot cheaper. And also right now, the uh, summer items are usually going on clearance because they have to make room for the new stuff. And so you might keep an eye out for some solar lights for your yard. That also might be going on, on clearance. So just keep your eyes open and think of double use that you can use things for. And also if you want to be a little bit more covert, um, the the uh, Christmas lights are really sort of bright, but you might be able to find some red strands. Red lights are less obvious when you're out in the woods. Also, uh, the orange and the black or purple lights for Halloween are less obvious. So just some things to think about and possibly some things to pick up. Uh, even if you have a generator, um, your LED lights, if you plug them in, will use a lot less energy than it will your regular lights that you might have. And you might be surprised at how much light a strand actually gives off. And plus you can buy different sizes. You could buy a 20 strand. You could buy a 100 strand. You could buy up to, I think, up to 250 or 500, but they're, they're a little bit more expensive. 
And that noise you hear is our new puppy. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, just something to think about when things go on sale after Christmas because it's hard to find those after Christmas. You know, you after they clearance everything, say in February, you're going to have a hard time trying to find them. So it's great to stock up now and you can pick up a few more boxes and just put them away just in case. So what you waiting for? Bye.